Today we're going to add and subtract mixed numbers. So let's get started. All right, let's go with um, eight and three fourths plus one and one half. Okay. Um, the first thing I keep tell I've, I've always told you is that um, whenever you add or subtract fractions, you have to have the same denominator. You can't do anything until you have the same denominator. So um, we need to get a common denominator, and we're going to go through the same process that we've done before. I'm going to list my multiples. My multiples of 2 and 4. My multiples of 2 are 2, 4, 6, 8, and so forth. My multiples of 4 are 4, 8, 12, um, 16, and so forth. Okay? So, what multiples do they have in common? Well, they share a 4. They also share 8. But we want the least common multiple. The smallest common multiple. So the smallest common multiple that they share is going to be 4. And that's going to be my new denominator. Okay. So uh, I'm going to say 4 times 1 is 4. And 3 times 1 is 3. I know that 2 times 2 is 4. And 1 times 2 is 2. Now that I have my same denominators, my, num my new denominator is 4, I'm going, I can now add these two fractions. 3 plus 2 is 5, and that's going to be my 4, over 4. And I need to add, and but this this is not all. This is this is not it. Don't forget about your, your whole numbers over here. You have two whole numbers over here that need to be added. So I'm going to add 8 plus 1. Well, what is 8 plus 1? 9. Now, we know that 5 fourths is, a, is an improper fraction. So I need to change this 5 fourths into a mixed number. So how do I do that? I go over here and I say um, 5 divided by 4. 4 goes into 5 one time, and I'm going to subtract. This is my whole number. This is my numerator. This is my denominator. Now, so... I now know that 5 fourths is really 1 and 1 fourths. But then I also need to bring down my 9. And I'm going to add these two whole numbers. Okay, so I brought down my 5 fourths to 1 and 1 fourths, and I brought down my 9. And I'm going to add these two together. 9 plus 1 is 10 and 1 fourths. All right. Let's try another one. I have seven and one third minus three and one sixth. Okay. Um, I've always told you that whenever you add or subtract fractions, you have to have the same denominator. Okay, I can't say that enough. I really can't because I see too many students um, just adding the numbers. You just can't add the numbers. You have to get a common denominator. Okay? So, again, I'm going to list my multiples. Now, and I know this process takes a long time, but you end up with the, with the correct answer if you go through this process. 
if you try to take shortcuts then you're going to you're going to you could possibly end up with the wrong answer okay so we I want to list all my multiples of three have three six nine twelve and I can go on and on I have for six I have six twelve eighteen and so forth well what what multiple do they have in common they have sixes and they both have twelves but what I want to know the lowest common multiple some people say the least common multiple lowest common multiple least common multiple same thing okay the least common multiple is going to be six so that's going to be my new denominator so I'm going to write that in for my denominator okay now I need to find my new numerator so three times two is six so one times two is two remember whatever I multiply in the bottom I have to multiply the same thing in the top okay and I know that six times one is six and one times one is one now now that I have my same denominator now is the time for me to subtract 2 minus 1. What is 2 minus 1? 2 minus 1 is 1. And I'm going to keep my new denominator. But I, but this is not all of my answer. I can't forget about this over here. 7 minus 3. Well, what is 7 minus 3? 7 minus 3 is 4. And I know for a fact that 1 6 is already in loaded, lowest terms. So therefore, my final answer is going to be 4 and 1 6. Okay? Let's work another one. I'd like for you to solve that work this one. Okay? I'd like for you to work this one. Okay? Um... 5 and 1 fourths plus 1 and 1 sixth. Okay? If you'll please pause the video right now and uh, solve this while well, work this problem, and I'll come back. Okay? Um, the first thing you need to do is get a common denominator. Uh, you know, I, I really can't say that enough. I, I really can't. Really can't. No. Okay. So I'm going to list my multiples. I'm going to list my multiples of 4 and my multiples of 6. My multiples of 4 are 4, 8, 12, 16, and 20. And I can go on and on. My multiples of 6 are 6, 12, 18, 24 and on and on and on okay what multiples do they have in common well they have a 12 in common and that's all I see right right now for from the ones that I listed they have a 12 in common so my new denominator is going to be 12 hope you got 12 as your denominator now I need to fill in my numerators. I need to get the new numerators. Okay, four times four times three is twelve, and one times three is three. Six times three. I'm sorry. Six times two is twelve, and one times two is two. Okay, so um, now that I have my same denominators, I can now add my fractions. So I'm going to add 3 plus 2. 3 plus 2 is 5. And I'm going to bring down my new denominator. However, don't forget about your whole numbers over here. What is 5 plus 1? 5 plus 1 is 
six. Okay. Now at this point, I want to make sure that this number, this fraction right here, is in lowest terms. So let's check that. I'm going to make a list my factors for five and my factors for twelve. All right. What factors do they have in common? Only one. So since my greatest common factor, the only number they have in common is one, since my greatest common factor is one, I know that this 5 twelfths is in the slowest terms, and this is my final answer. Alright? Well, that's it for this video. Um, please visit mathwithmoon.org and uh, where you can find more videos uh, please email me and leave your comments and suggestions and I will see you next time okay bye